Hello everybody, I call this the 4 picture clean fly tuning guide. It's a 10,000 foot overview of clean fly tuning and is thus not an in-depth tuning guide in any way. Um, the basic concept is you're looking at 4 pictures and should be able to do a basic tune of your quiet in about 5 to 10 minutes. This information was given to me by one of our DRC pilots. So let's get right into it and start tuning our quads. Okay, so uh, as we said, four pictures. This is picture number one and it shows the basic overview of the clean flight um, tuning. Uh, tab and it's called PID tuning and you'll see it at the top there and that's how you get into it of course this won't tell you how to do any of the other pieces it's really just um, about this tuning tab and um, there's certain sections uh, the gray, uh, the, the orangey stuff on the left that's just informational the red guys are the PIDs and the rates and the green guys that's more uh, the TPA and we'll explain what those are so the typical process is you start with P, with TPA, then I and then D. Looking at uh, the second picture then, and this is P tuning, so first thing you want to do is do a punch out and while you're doing a punch out um, you uh, um, see that there's high oscillation. So even if you're just uh, um, you know um, hovering and you see high oscillation, the high oscillation is it's moving and you'll hear the quad do this and by moving I mean vibrating in the air rapidly left to right up and down so in that case uh, um, you want to lower your P values your P values too high so you want to start maybe higher and or, or, or work up to a higher level but at some point it's going to start uh, doing this uh, high oscillation thing so at that point you want to uh, lower your P another way um, if you do uh, a punch out and only at high throttle you get these oscillations then you can tune that out with a thing called TPA and what TPA really does is as your uh, there's a break point let's say halfway throttle uh, that's about 1400 or 1500 on most throt uh, controllers at that point it will start reducing the effect uh, to this uh, uh, of what the PIDs are set to so a TPA of 0 0.5 in this case would mean only 50% of the values on the left would actually be applied at full throttle. So that way at full throttle you can lessen the effect. So the next thing you want to do is do your eye tuning. And eye is, is really very simple. Um, as it has to do with the lower oscillation stuff. So this is no longer, the, you shouldn't be having that high oscillation thing going on. This is, so if you're hovering and the quad floats a, 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 a lot, a lot, and you see it slowly oscillate, then you want to lower your eye value. If um, you, uh, um, and another thing that happens a lot is, let's say you're flying up high and you want to come down and, you, and you're letting off the throttle and you start seeing the, the quad do a, a fluttering, meaning, you know, it's, it's, it's not stable when coming down, maybe in its own prop wash, but of course there'll be a certain amount of its own prop wash, but, but if that is, is not good, then maybe you want to raise your eye value, so that's when you're dropping down. So at this point, you've really done your, your P, and your I, I value. So P is your you're punching out and you're looking for high oscillations and then your I you're looking for lower oscillations to see if you can uh, uh, um, get that tuned out. And then the last thing you typically want to do is tune your D value and the D value is really the amount of correction applied. Of course this is a computer and it wants to apply corrections for you. So um, uh, you want to flick your sticks left to right and and that gives you that locked in feeling so if you flicking your sticks left to right and uh, uh, and you see a bounce um, uh, um, you know your D is maybe a, a little bit too high so what you want to do is flick left flick right and see uh, if, if it's lethargic and it and then of course you want to uh, um, you want to raise your D 
um, but if you if you if you start seeing bouncing meaning when it gets to where you flicked it and it starts bouncing or, or vibrating at that point you've gone too far and you want to lower your your D okay and so and at this point after you tuned all three of these you want to do your rates and that is um, uh, the little right box over there for uh, roll pitch and yaw and that is just the execution time on how quickly it applies these uh, um, uh, tuning parameters that you did to the left that's a whole section on its own but typically you would raise that um, you know for instance your roll rate if if you if you're rolling too slow uh, you might be tuned in your roll but you're doing it too slow you can increase your rate and that means you're rolling much faster or pitching much faster or yawing much faster so um, those are uh, the last things you really would do is just increase your rate so um, yeah, it fits to your flying style so that's about it that's uh, the, the, the really the, the four pictures uh, that I wanted to show you it's it's really very simple Try it out and uh, let me know if, if it works for you. And thank you um, to the pilot that gave me all, all of this information.